Okay, I see. Oh, I think it says that I've been live for three minutes. So I'm sorry if that is the case because it doesn't actually tell me that on my end until I go to try to find find you guys here. Anyway, okay, so if I have somebody on, oh, I think that might be me. I just love to get a confirmation to know if everybody can hear me okay. Okay. There I am there. All right, well, as people hop on, I am just going to get ask them if you guys can hear me okay. So happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to the Savvy Spa Boss Live. This is week number three. I'm going to probably say this every single week, but I just cannot believe <clears throat> that we're already into the third week of 2019. It's just absolutely bonkers to me. Okay, so I see that somebody else has come on. If you are watching live, please type live and let me know that you can hear me. If you're watching the replay, go ahead and drop the replay in the comments below. So today is, and again, just in case you don't know who I am, my name is Susan O'Sullivan. I, um, I'm a spa owner. I am the founder of Spa Temps, the only on-demand staffing solution that is coming to an area near you. So you can check that out at spatemps.ca, S-P-A-T-E-M-P-S dot C-A to find out more information about that. You can check out my weekly blog, The Savvy Spa Boss, um, live over on <clears throat> spatemps.ca as well. Just find the blog there. And also you can find me here every week, Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time time and this week we are talking all about so we're in the middle of our three-part series so we're talking social media is it the new storefront and this week we're talking about um, how to stay consistent with your social media so just a little bit of a recap last week we talked all about um, how to create killer content so we talked about um, how you really need to identify who your target market is. We talked about, um, and you can go ahead and check it out on the blog. After this live is done, I'll be putting all of the links into the description. But you can um, you can curate content. You can um, use free resources such as Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S, Unsplash, Pixabay as free resources. Um, you can figure out how to like recycle content and repurpose things across all platforms. So if you want to check out um, how to create killer content for your um, social media strategy, then check it out right here on the business page, the, uh, the Spa Temps business Facebook business page, and also go check out the blog, which basically has it all neatly written out and organized. Um, so this week, again, we're talking about how to stay consistent. Now, again, if you're watching live, let me know by typing the word live in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, type the word replay. And if you're enjoying the content that you're getting out of this live, give me some likes, give me some hearts. Let me know that you're here and that it is all good. Oh, and before I forget, so we are doing another giveaway today. We've got another Truvy Beauty lip balm. So in order to uh, be in the running to win this lip balm, you need to comment or ask a question, whatever that comment is, but let me know that you're here in the comments and you get a bonus point, uh, a bonus entry for sharing this broadcast out to your community. But, and I forgot to mention this last week, you have to let me know and you have to type shared in the comments. So it's really two birds with one stone in that sense anyways, but again, it's awesome, can be yours. Um, so yeah, so just engage, just participate and show up. That's what I always say. Okay. So the biggest things when it comes to um, staying consistent. Now, if you're here and you have questions, please type them in line because we're going to get to them at the end. But what are your struggles when it comes to staying consistent? What makes you fall off the social media wagon? Because it's really, really easy to do. So, you know, what is that? Like, what is that thing that stumbles, that makes you stumble? Is it creating the content? Is it because you hit the roadblock and go, oh my gosh, I haven't created any more content. So I don't know what the next thing should be. Is it just because, you know, you miss a day, you miss three days, you miss seven days and you kind of just go, you know, eh, like, what is it for you? Let me know if you're watching this now or later, what it is, like what prevents you from um, staying consistent with your social media? 
Okay, so the first thing that you need to do in order to stay consistent, and this is actually probably when you want to stay consistent with anything, not even just your social media, but you need to make a plan and then stick to it. So what I mean by that is you need to just, you need to decide like, what is it going to be for you? Do you want to show up every day? Not that I'm saying that that's right for you. Do you want to show up twice a week, three times a week? You know, just decide what is right for you. And a big suggestion I have here is to not, uh, not overcommit yourself, um, especially right out the gate. I mean, if you are known for sort of falling off the social media bandwagon or the social media wagon, you know, whatever, um, and then you're trying to get consistent, you're trying to kind of correct that, um, you know, that, like, that kind of ups and downs of like being really consistent and then not consistent at all and showing up and then not showing up at all. Don't say, okay, well, I'm going to show up every day and then put that kind of expectation on yourself. Like that is a really hard thing to maintain. So if you're going to from zero, like if you're not consistent at all right now and you want to develop some sort of consistency, try at first saying, okay, I'm going to show up twice a week. Or I'm going to show up three times a week or even once a week. But the point is just choose, choose it and decide, decide what it's going to be for you and stay consistent with it. So don't set yourself up for failure. Actually, this doesn't, this isn't too much different than if you are in the Savvy Spa Boss Facebook group. I did a kind of a impromptu live on Sunday night when I realized how much more productive um, things can feel, how much better you can feel, how much more, you know, more of a success mindset you can have when you put things on your plate that you know that you can accomplish because then you can actually say, okay, I, I completed what I set out to. Same thing with, so, um, with the social media consistency. Do what you think is realistic. You can always scale up, okay? But it's, it works less when you scale down. Um, and so again, so this really just builds the know, like, and trust factor. So if your audience, and this is gonna, this is gonna segue nicely into what we're gonna be talking about next week, which is engagement and how to turn that engagement into sales. But if you're, if your customers can trust that they know when you're going to show up, they know the type of content that you're going to be posting is good, and they're just going to get more familiar and comfortable with and trust that you are going to deliver how you say you're going to deliver. So it's more powerful than you realize. And, um, and if anybody has any questions, don't forget, let me know in the comments um, below. So the next thing you want to do is you want to plan your posts, if at all possible. Posting sp are not sporadically, but well, sporadically, but posting on a whim and just kind of here comes an idea and posting it out. Here comes an idea and posting it out or hoping that you're going to find the time every single day to post onto your social media platforms. Uh, again, I'm not saying it's not possible. But it's going to be hard to maintain because life happens. We all know that life happens. So as things start kind of, um, you know, life rears its ugly head, sometimes ugly, um, you like, you know, you're going to feel this pressure going, oh, my gosh, I need to post something. But this is going on. I can't think about that. And you're really putting yourself at risk of, again, falling off the social media wagon. So leverage your platforms and if when you check out the blog you can see i give um, a few suggestions on potential platforms to start with uh, one really great one i must say that i'm currently using now is later it's a free option l-a-t-e-r so they're known for how for their um, instagram but they also post to facebook and twitter as well I'm trying to think if there was a fourth one there might be but for sure, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, they cover it, and it's free, um, first 30 posts of the month. So if you're just working on your account, um, there's no, I mean, they do have advantages of going to the paid version, but it's a really amazing way to start um, scheduling your posts. So I always suggest that you need to, and I might be jumping the gun here in, in, as far as like the key points, but plan your time. So if you're time blocking your week, and like you want to be at least one week ahead of your social media posts. If you could set aside a day every month, the same day every month, and actually plan an entire month of social media. And by the way, if you haven't gotten 
the cheat sheet, the 45 days of social media cheat sheet. You can get that by going to www.spottemps.ca forward slash get social. Okay. So that is going to be extremely helpful for you. You can, uh, the feedback I've already gotten on this has been really great. So people are already setting up their content using this cheat sheet. So you can just keep recycling it and recycling it and recycling, recycling it because I'm not giving you like 100% of the posts. I'm just prompting you, like sparking that creativity in your mind. So this is going to help you if you take one day a month and you just sit down and plan your social media, then you know, you don't have to worry about it for the next month. And then instead of worrying about scrambling and creating your content for the month, you can actually spend that time that you would have been on uh, planning your social media, engaging with your audience. I'm not going to jump into that too much because we're going to talk about that next week. But the engagement in your platforms and in your audience and responding back to people when they show interest in you, whether that's liking, commenting or sharing your work, that's where the money is. So a lot of times that kind of goes underutilized, but if you do it in a very powerful way, that is how you're actually going to start seeing traction with your social media. See, the creating of the content and the staying consistent, that's like, that's kind of like, you know, that's what you want. Like that is to say, here I am, this is okay, this is what I'm doing, I'm showing up consistent, I'm giving you good content. So that's great, but the engagement is absolutely key. These are there's three, the, the three, the um, content, consistency, engagement, those are the three things you need to remember when it comes to your social media, hands down. So um, yeah, so if you want to try to get ahead of your social media as much as possible by planning, and, and I love time blocking my week. So at the beginning of every week, I take chunks of my day. So I know, you know, there's like the non-negotiables, I schedule in, you know, me time, I let's be real. It's not a lot of time, but I do try to schedule it in there. Um, I schedule the time that I have with my kids. I have a scheduled time that I'm actually working on clients. Um, and then all of that free time where I'm working on my business, I time block it. So I chunk it out. So for the rest of this afternoon, I have some calls that I'm on, but I know there, there's like about a three hour gap where, you know, I'm work. I know, or already know what I'm working on. And tomorrow I know what I'm working on in the morning the afternoon and in the evening. And same thing with Friday. It's really helpful to time block your week. So that way you just know that you're transforming your to-do list into like, I, it got done list, right? And who doesn't not like, you know, putting their things or checking off their list that they've actually completed it. So that's a big suggestion on how to get ahead of the game with your social media uh, by planning ahead. So, and again, so if you have the cheat sheet, this is going to really help you with your categories, but, and we talked about it last week, but if you stick to your categories and you know, it, it's going to just be a lot less over, it's going to be a lot, yeah, less overwhelming for you to plan out and, and do it in advance. If you use the cheat sheet, if you, if you have another method that you use, great, but to kind of break it down into subcategories is, is the best thing that you can do. Um, and then again, scheduling your, see, I'm kind of like when I'm talking to you, it's less organized than in the blog, but it's more organic. Cause I think I'm picking up on the key things you need to know, but scheduling your posts ahead of time is going to absolutely key. And then the other thing that I want you guys to, um, remember that you can do, and again, I talked about it in the blog is reuse your own content, um, strategically. So, you know, you can always change a caption like so you have to remember and we spoke about this last week as well that only about 20 percent of your audience is actually seeing what you post so don't feel like you can never recycle content if you posted um images or or um posts or anything on your social media six months ago or even three months ago eight months ago whatever it is that really worked well for you don't feel like you can't recycle that 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 um that caption you can mix it with another picture or you can put it put the same picture and have another caption or maybe kind of tweak it in canva again um or you can if you write a blog you can take a lot of the content that you've already created and then repurpose it across your your platforms and so one thing that you want to remember is that you want to try to avoid sometimes it's in in certain scenarios it's not you know avoidable but you want to try to post different things on different days so don't 
post the same image across your Instagram, across your Facebook, across your LinkedIn, across your Twitter, all in the same day, because you're giving people real um, a reason to only follow you in one place, which you don't want that. You want people to be able to, to consume your content in different places. That's what's going to help grow your following. So what I, what I do, if I'm working in later, I plan all the posts, usually Instagram first, because I'm a little bit more particular about how the feed actually looks. And on um, and Facebook is not as important. So I post it to Instagram or I schedule it for Instagram. And then I'll take my posts and then I'll kind of scatter them out throughout the other platforms on different times. And if I can, if it's if it makes sense to actually change up the picture. But this is a little bit too much. I don't want you to be really kind of worrying about this right now. Because if you're not I mean, I'm not an all or nothing kind of person because I know that that's just not realistic in life. So if you feel like right now you need to post both to Facebook and Instagram and just kind of have it like jump over, fine. I want you to work towards eventually posting different things on different days. And again, I don't mean completely different content. I just mean on different days. So if you plan to post 20 times in a month, I don't want you to create 40 posts. No, create 20 posts and just make sure that they're showing up on different days. Just I want to make that clear because you might think, oh my gosh, I have, to, I have to create 40 posts if I want to show up 20 times each month. No, that's not what I mean at all. I'm going to check the comments here in case anybody has any, is having any questions. Because I feel like I'm, I'm, I've, I have forgot to be looking at the, at the comments. But do ask them because I'm going to go look through them and, and uh, um, check on, check in on those comments. But definitely, you just want to do what's in reason, like what's reasonable for you, and always just you want to always aim to grow. You want to always improve, but don't kind of set yourself up to fail because you think you need to do it 100% perfect or not at all. Okay, so that's one thing. I mean, you don't have to be perfect. None of us are perfect, so you don't have to set that kind of expectation on yourself. But what I'm hoping that I delivered to you today is just some tools and some easy, quick um, ways that's going to help set you up for success. So I'd love for you to tell me in the comments what your key takeaways are from what you've learned either in the blog and in the slide today about staying consistent. Like what, what are you taking away from this? Cause I really want to know that you are taking something away from this. Um, so I'd love to see what is resonating with you and, and maybe how you can take action in a different way when it comes to your social media to set yourself up to stay more consistent. And let me know, are you already consistent or are, are, are you somebody that really needs to focus on being more consistent? So let me know in the comments below. I'm going to take a little look, see, and now Okay, so I don't see, so let's see who's here. Hi, Missy. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Rhea. Hi, Carol. Hi, Mary Jean. And hi, Jackie. So yes, um, so again, the cheat sheet is www.spottemps.ca forward slash get social. So let me know if you have any issues downloading that at all. You can message me. You can uh, let me know in the Facebook groups if you're interested in joining the space, the Facebook group. Um, hashtag Spa Boss Money Mindset Marketing, and that's where we can kind of continue the conversation and give each other support as far as promotions you're running, any questions that you have. I'll do my best to answer them inside of the group. It's a growing community that really is just an awesome place to be. So do um, check it out and join us uh, there. Uh, now, guys, do you have any questions? I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to be able to offer you some insight. Um, there was something that was posted. Inside of the group, so I'm going to check that out now. Okay, we had somebody new to the group and she was talking about 
because I asked her like, what are your top three questions or concerns? And she says, I have an amazing business. However, I seem to be at the same place, which is awesome by the way, but I seem to be at the same place for a very long time now and would love to break free and grow my business by having more employees and building a solid clientele, do more marketing. So there's a simple solution to that. I mean, marketing can be very overwhelming, but you know, it's not impossible. Like talk to me three, four years ago and the online marketing world, just digital marketing in general, marketing in general, like it was a really foreign concept to me. Everything that I know, now I have invested. I think there, there's definitely there's definitely good reason to invest it in resources. I've, I've invested in um, various um, coaching programs. I've invested in online courses that really have showed me how like to, um, you know, help take my digital marketing to the next level. I mean, I've probably <laughs> invested more than an even like, you know, to admit because uh, because I know that it's been really important, but I, I said, okay, so I made the decision. I need to learn marketing. I'm not always happy with the results, um, you know, I, I get when I outsource it. Um, so I just decided that I'm like, I need to take this on myself. Uh, so I made a point of educating myself and learning more and, and, and taking every opportunity I get to consume new knowledge and that is really key. So if you're not already marketing, then just decide to start marketing more and decide to start learning more at every opportunity that you get. So stay active in the group, ask questions in the group, um, you know, take advantage of the, uh, of the free resources that we provide. Do the 10 day challenge. If anybody here watching this is whether now or later has done the 10 day challenge, comment below. And if you, and if you would recommend it to somebody else to do the 10 day challenge, then just kind of let them know in the comments below to like, you know, get your act together and do the 10 day challenge because you're actually going to learn so much about get, gaining new clientele, about leveraging existing clientele. Um, and it's basically the 10 day challenge focuses on a way to organically um, in boost your cash flow. So if you've done the challenge as well in your comments, if you feel so inclined, let let the people in, that might be seeing your comment know how much that that challenge actually made you because we track everything. Or I have you guys track everything within in the challenge. So let people know because it's an awesome, uh, awesome resource, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so once you just decide and you learn to to, to take on more marketing, uh, that is going to help you do everything that you asked about. It's going to help you um, grow the clientele that's so it, it will actually justify or let you know whether it makes sense to bring on new employees. But I just want you to know if, if I can make a suggestion is that although it's a nice thought to say, yeah, I want to bring on more staff. I want to be a bigger, you know, bigger, bigger is not always better. OK, so don't just jump to thinking that you want that your goal is to bring in new staff. Make your goal to be that you want to have a business that's so full with who you have right now and you're, you're, you're um, almost at capacity, then decide about having staff. There's a lot of uh, decisions that I see spot owners making or have made, and regretfully in a lot of cases, where they've either expanded too soon, they've hired too soon, that was definitely in my boat, believe me, and that's kind of where spot temps came into play was with my staffing track record, um, you know, but yeah, like whether renovating or expanding or, you know, even just buying into like buying a spa or opening a business like a little bit too soon. Um, you know, there's a lot of these things that just might feel right. We're very passionate about them. Um, but my biggest advice to people is to just wait until you are so at capacity or not your facility at capacity, but your current staff or you are at capacity that it makes sense to bring somebody else on or it makes sense to, to renovate because you really can't operate without it. It's a hard thing because, and I'm one of those type of people who get really passionate about something and just want to do it and get into it. But I suggest always kind of proceeding with reservation when it comes to um, expanding, whether it's your 
business, your location, your team, et cetera. But just start with the marketing, start flexing that muscle and it's all going to come together. And you've already made a step by joining the group. And if you're going to be watching this, which I'm going to make it a note for you to watch it over in the group, um, it's, it's, you're, you know, you're already, you're taking that step in the right direction. And as I've been saying every week this far, you're only one step, you're only one decision away from getting that much closer to your goals. Because a lot of the times that first step or that whatever step you're on, you just need to decide to take it. All right, so I don't see, um, I don't see any other questions. So that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Um, if you do have any other questions, you can either post them here in the comment, but I do suggest joining our Facebook group, the Savvy Spa Boss, or sorry, just Spa Boss Money Mindset, Money Mindset Marketing, um, because that's where I'm gonna be better able at this point to answer all the questions. But anytime, if you want to ask questions, but you know you can't make it live, just ask them in the group email me, message me, whatever it is, because I want to be able to, sometimes it's just easier for me to answer them freely here in this context. But I am so glad that you guys have been, that, that have come. So don't forget if you're watching and you want to be in the running to win a, one of these um, Truvy Beauty lip balms, then you need to come comments in the post and give me some likes if you've enjoyed this broadcast if you've gotten benefits of it give me some hearts and likes I so appreciate it and you get an extra point for our extra entry when you share it out but you need to let me know that you've shared it in the comments because sometimes Facebook hides it or if we're not friends on Facebook I might not be able to see that you shared it so that's it for now everybody I'll be announcing the winner tomorrow over in the Facebook group by the way um oh shoot I don't have the number, the names now, but the two people that won last week, I've sent messages to you, but I never got a response. So if you happen to be watching again this week, um, check your messages, check. We're not friends on Facebook. So sometimes again, Facebook hides the messages, so, but just check your, your, um, inbox. If you know you're not friends with me on Facebook, then definitely check your inbox in your messenger because you might've won. And I'm looking forward to sending it all out um, either this week or next week. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have an amazing day. As always, I'm wishing you passion, progress, and profitability. Bye, guys.